So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone is basically telling you this little pop-up. It says an update is required to use cellular data on this iPhone. Now this can happen for a few different reasons, but the main reason this actually ends up happening anyway is because you may have just inputted a new SIM card in your device and you basically have to update your carrier settings. So to do this, we can actually follow along with this specific, you know, little article from Apple. And they basically tell you that carrier setting updates lets your carrier provider update carrier network and related settings and anyone still later, yada, yada, right? So here, if you want to go ahead and let's say a little notification popped up and you dismissed it, well, the way you can actually go ahead and actually get that pop-up to come up, which is a little pop-up that basically says, hey, you know, you need to update your carrier settings. You can go ahead and make sure that your you know, if your phone is connected to Wi-Fi and or a cellular network, preferably Wi-Fi because your cell network may not be working right now. What you want to do then is you want to go and tap in the settings. You want to go into general and you want to click on about. So we're going to do that. We're going to click on settings. We're going to click on general and we're going to click on about. Now, when you click here, sometimes there can be a little pop up that will basically tell you, hey, you know, you have carrier settings that need to be updated. And all you have to do here is just go ahead and update your carrier settings. So you can see right here, it says if you set up a new SIM, eSIM, or insert a new SIM card into your phone or iPad, you might need to download the carrier settings for your new carrier. So it says if you want to see the new ones, you want to go ahead and basically go into this option I just told you. You then want to go into carrier. So you can see carrier would be basically... And essentially, if you had a carrier, like in this phone, I don't have a carrier right now, you should be able to see your specific carrier under here, and you'll be able to click on it, and you should be able to get more information. Now, let's say none of this information has helped you so far. You may also want to go ahead and just reboot your phone. So just go ahead and hold down the buttons, and go ahead and let your phone just restart. And then you'll be able to get that little pop-up again. We're looking for a little pop-up that comes up that says, do you want to update your carrier settings? And you want to go and click update or update now, and that should help it. If that still doesn't work, you could try updating your phone, although this wouldn't be like the basic way to do it. You can go and update your phone, and maybe with that new update, you'll basically be able to see that little pop-up, and then you can go and click on and you know, update, and you should be good to go from there. So that's another way to go and fix this problem too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.